winners of the 2019 edition meet again this time in the semi-finals and this one is going to be a cracker Rang the Jed coming out in their blue and white strip Shilong Lajong the away team today in their red strip as the players greet each other and we move quickly into the action here in the Meghalaya State League with semi-final one and the first leg as Rang the Jed take on Shillong Lajong. Second se semi-final coming to you after this one at 3.30 but all eyes on this big encounter because you get the feeling that whoever wins this game might just go all the way but rather not win this game but win this tie over the two legs might just go all the way and pick up the prestigious Meghalaya State League trophy. Formalities done and dusted between the skippers and the officials. Around the Jed United, of course, topping the Jowai group with 16 points of 6 matches, 5 wins, 1 draw, no losses, scoring as many as 20 goals. On the other hand, Shillong Lajong playing 5, winning 4, drawing 1, not losing and scoring 20 as well. They got 13 points out of a possible 15. So both these sides doing the same, just drawing 1 match each, scoring 20 goals, absolutely emphatic. Nobody could catch them and that is why whoever wins this tie is probably pipped to win the entire thing. Around the Jed United's form very good from the onset. They beat Niawasa 2-0, drew to Lathalabo the only time they dropped points. That was 1-1. Smashed Sienfin Bhalang 6 goals to nil, beat Rimbai 3-0. Smashed Mulet United 5 0 and then overcame Denkarong Youth Club by three goals to two. For Shillong Lajong, they started off with a 2 0 win. Rather, they finished off with a 2 0 win, but they started off with a 10 0 rampant display versus Lumdian Gnan. Then they beat Pin Grey three goals to nil. Mountain were pushed aside 5-1. 7 United held them to a 0-0 draw and then they finished by beating Riangdo 2-0. So emphatic stuff from both sides. And that has brought us to this one, to the big encounter, to the semi-final of the Meghalaya State League. And we kick off as the defending champions Shillong Lajong take on Rang the Jed United who are the runners up of last edition of the Meghalaya State League and it's a first half kicking off live from Jowai in a first leg where Rang the Jed are playing host and after this they will travel to Shillong's home for the second leg but over 180 minutes of football, it could be Rang the Jed who get the first chance, but it wasn't meant to be. Over 180 minutes of football, we will decide who will go through to the final. And both these sides, definitely the strongest of the four. So whoever wins will be favourite in the final. A lot of people have deemed this as the potential final itself but you can't look so far ahead 90 minutes today and 90 minutes on the 13th will decide the fate of these two top quality sides remember none of them have lost a game so far in this league five unbeaten for Shillong Lajong six unbeaten for Rang the Jed having played a game extra because the Jowai zone had seven teams None of the six opponents that came across Rang the Jed could even give them a fight, apart from perhaps Lathalabo, 
And that was only in that solitary game. After that, Rang the Jet just too good, just too consistent and too crisp for their competitors. And of course, the same can be said about Shilong Lajong. What a way to start the campaign for them with a 10 nil jubbing of Lum Deng Nan. And after that, they didn't look back. And we finished the top of the Mao Kirwad zone. Seven United coming closest to them, four points away from Shillong Lajong. And they would have felt they had a chance because they did hold Shillong Lajong to a draw, the only team to do so. But at the end of the two legs, one of these sides have to be beaten, even if it goes to a penalty shootout, if it has to. Here come Rang the Jed, down the left hand side. Very good when it comes to wing play. Around the Jed, and that should fizzle out for a goal kick though. And let's take you to the through to the sides as well. Rang the Jed lining up with Kurba, Aibyang, Nongneng, Osterwell, Krarti Klang Guam, the skipper who's been in good form, that will be offside against Shillong Lajong. Then there's Dibormi Kasar in the midfield, Bansan Kongsnam, Arlanki Balam Kongji, who scored a couple in their last league game. Let Liang and Banchan Sten between the sticks. Nice cross field ball will be kept in by Let Liang. This, of course, is Rang the Jed's hope ground, playing all their six group stage matches in the Jowai zone, in the Kiang Nangba football turf, where we are today. Also played host to the opening matchup of the season, where Rang the Jed took on Niawasa and beat them convincingly. Although it was only 2 0, Rang the Jed were dominant, as they have been throughout the campaign. Nice touch there to win it back. And Shilong Lajong will be looking for a few counters. That will be a foul against Shilong. As we take a look at their side in the full red strips today, the pride of Meghalaya football, Shilong Lajong, represented Meghalaya in the I League as well for a few seasons. Here they come, their first major chance of the game can't get a shot away. That is good defending. So taking a look at their lineup, there is Yobor Lingdo, Save Me Tiaryang, Sambor Figo, Hame Walang, Sangti Xianglong, Ronald Kingdo, Hardy Cliff, the skipper, Ever Bright, Henry, and between the six it is Rajat Paul Lingdo. Many options on the bench. For either side, for Shillong, there is Wadajed. Lato Sampang, there's forwards as well, Atlan Sun and Shano. And for Rang the Jed on the bench is Damien Sia, who scored the first goal for them in the campaign. Arkris Wan Yang is also an option in the midfield. And Basu Klang Bina has been a prominent substitute. Whenever required. Abimut Nongram not starting today though for Angajet. Careless challenge there from Save Me Taryang. Kulba tries to win the ball back and instead fouls Everbright. Looking to get Shilong Lajong a bright start to this ever important fixture, of course. Mm -hmm. 
Rang Vijayad like to start quick. They bring their intensity in the first 10 15 minutes and put their opponents under pressure. For Shilong Rajong, they like to overturn that pressure and counter attack, and that's what they've been doing. Decent ball in by Hardy, but Sten will get there easily. You can see a few of the fans making their way inside and also around the ground. Very nice footballing culture over here. Throughout Meghalaya, another cross comes in. That doesn't go towards Sten, but it's well defended. And Shilong Lajong will have their first corner of the game. Save me this time with the cross in. Here comes Lajong again. A bit of a slip there from Hardy and good defensive duties from Ning Nong. Good ball in, Sten punches it away. Quite convincing from the keeper. And now it falls to Liatlang. Oh, that's a poor ball. He played it behind Bansan Kongstam. The basics need to be on point today. Rang the Jed usually do that. In the first 10 minutes or so, no real chances, but Shilong Lajong have been putting the ball into the box, and that is important. And as you can see around the ground, all the fans flocking to watch this semi final encounter and to hope that Rang the Jed go all the way to the final once again, but this time. They would love for the trophy to come back to the Jovai zone as it did in the inaugural edition when Niawasa were crown champions. But what a feat it would be for Shilong Lajong to win back to back titles, albeit with the pandemic in between and a three year gap. It will still be back to back but this is a good chance for Rang the Jed and that's a poor touch down the left hand side great pace from Let Liang getting himself the openings very early on in this encounter and he'll be one to watch out for the right back has to keep an eye on him Hardy felt that it would be his throw, but he'll have to defend it instead of take it. And what a spectacle this Meghalaya State League has been this year. 25 teams participating. Now we're down to just four. That should be handball. But advantage played on by the ref. It doesn't really work for Shilong Lajong. 25 teams over four groups. Multiple matches. Every game streamed live on YouTube, on the Sports Room channel and the Meghalaya State League channel. An action coming thick and fast almost every single day. We had a game for you, whichever zone it was in, barring the Sundays, which were a bit of a break. But in the opening stages of this game, it looks like Shilong Lajong are the ones with a bit more impetus moving forward. Rang the Jed, as always, are organized though. That'll be a foul crunched between two defenders there. Lat Liang. They just got caught in between Hame and his teammate. 
Naskurba loves to play in that inverted right back role. Something which is very prominent nowadays in world football. And of course in Indian football as well. How the game has evolved. Another good ball through but nicely cleared away by Eobor. A more direct approach on that occasion from Rangajed. Usually like to play out from the back. Construct a nice move through the midfield towards the forwards. Nice little fake there from the defence to make sure the header wasn't taken. Yes, Kurba playing very high up the field now. And as I was saying, how wing backs have progressed and their role in the modern day game has totally changed. Earlier it would be mostly to defend and to sometimes come up and help in the attack. As you can see now, another move through the center. Rather through the wing, centered in, but a very good piece of defending from Rangdajed. But what a ball that was. And Shilong Lajong are looking very sharp down that right hand side. Lovely touch there from Save Me. Gets it back and then plays it to Sangti, who has been brought down, but no foul, says the ref. Shalong Ajong will still have it. Good turn from Ever Bright. Plays it back to save me. And the side in red, dominating possession for the time being at least, and then they just let it go with a poor touch. Around the Jed have met their match. All these days, they haven't been able to find a team who can go toe to toe with them and don't they know so well about Shilong Lajong defeating them in the 2019 final I haven't seen the midfielders of Rangdajed get involved in this game. That will be very important. Ever bright chasing that, but it was always going to be too far for him. Quarter of an hour gone, and you haven't seen the likes of Dibor Mi. Kyo Kasar or Knati Klang Wam in the Rangajad midfield. And they need to come to the party. And this is one semi final party that you don't want to arrive late to. A bit of space there down the middle, but that would have been the offside trap. And that looks like a dive. Oh, I think it was one. The tackle did come in, but there was not much contact there from Neng Nong. Let's take a look at it here. No, not much in it. Save me, Tar Yang knew exactly what he was doing. And the official there, Bhulmi Fawa, has called for the foul. A good chance for Hardy to put a good ball into the box again. Decent delivery from Hardy. Just about cleared away by Rangdajed. And they are under severe pressure here. Playing at home, and Shillong Lajong have brought the fight to them. Hardy again. Not the best delivery this time towards the first post. That was a teaser, though. Not a good clearance, and that should be goal number one. Shillong Lajong take the lead. Pathetic defending from Rangdajed. 
but it is Henry Ford Nong Neng who strikes first and it's Shilong Lajong in the red corner who get the first punch of this semi-final encounter not the best clearance from Kurba and then how about that for a header no chance for Banchan Stin nobody going up for the header quick enough but that is a sublime finish from Henry Nongneng. And you can see a bit of a relief on the face of the coach and the playing staff there for Shilong Lajong. They are in the lead and they are in the lead away from home. Stunned silence across Kiang Nangbang football turf. Young the Jed have been humbled. They would have come into this game full of confidence, but also in the back of their mind thinking that Shilong Lajong have got the better of them before. That'll be a bit of a slip, still cleared away by Shilong Lajong though. And now this sets up this encounter brilliantly. We haven't seen Young the Jed United trail too often in this campaign. Well, this, will be a, this will be a test of character. This will be an attempt for them to show that they mean business, that they can be the best team in Meghalaya. And they have to do it the hard way. Aibyang. Plays it wide. Look at that pressure from Shilong Lajong. Rang the Jet just cannot get themselves out of their own half, really, unless they play a long ball. <coughs> Alanki goes for that long ball, doesn't really help. In fact, it will be a foul. And this will help Rang the Jet to move a little higher up the pitch. There is Kranti Klangbom. Decent delivery from him. Good punch away by Rajat, the keeper. And well defended by Shilong Rajong. But Rang Rajat will come back with it. Kong Zam with the delivery. It does go off a Shilong Rajong head. And it will be a throw. <coughs> Cross in this time nicely headed away. This is better from Rang the Jed. 20 minutes in, they need to get involved in this game. They have to be a lot more proactive. Not with passes like that, of course. A bunch and Sten couldn't do much about that goal. Kurba's clearance wasn't the best. Could have just played it outwards, but. I think tried to play towards the center to perhaps start off a counter. But here is Kurba to make amends. Oh, he scuffed the shot. That would have been a spectacular goal from the right back. Superb run and ball through. That first touch took it away from both the defenders. And he should have hit the target. And if he did, it would have been 1 1, I think. That is much better from Rang the Jed now. Looking a little dicey at the back after conceding though, Rang the Jed.
almost halfway through the first half. Safe to say that Shillong Lajong have been the better side. And they've got the goal for it as well. Another poor clearance. They just can't get themselves out of the danger area here, Rang the Jed. Do they need to change something? These long balls aren't really working. But this will open up a bit of space for Neng Nong. A lot of space. In fact, the ball is played in, cleared by the keeper. But where were the Shillong Lajong left back and left centre back? Totally out of position there. Another ball in, this time from Kongji. Poor delivery from him. Not the best defending either. From Save Me. And it will be a goal kick. He does make up for it. As I've said previously, Shillong Lajong, the pride of Meghalaya football, playing in the I League a few seasons ago. And this season, rather the next season, Shillong Lajong will be back up there in the I League, having gained promotion last season. Now the ball into the box there, very good collection by Rajat. This could be another chance for Shillong Lajong to make it two. It's over the top. What an opportunity there for Figo Sindai. He found himself in acres of space. Poor defensive header there from Alanki. Oh, and that second touch just got the ball away from him. And they're just about hanging on here, Rang the Jed. Here come Lajong again. As I said, fresh off the back of promotion to the I League this season from the second division I League. Just about doing enough there to defend Kongji. Shillong Lajong have been very successful in the second division I League or I League 2 as you would call it. Runners up this season, third place in 2009 and the champions in 2011-12 season which saw them move up towards the I League. And of course, winning the Meghalaya State League in 2022. It's not going to be offside. Oh, finally, the flag has been raised. Moved to be slightly quicker there. Back in the days of the Shillong Premier League also. Shillong Lajong winning that four times in 2014, 15, 16 and 19. And also coming very close to winning the Federation Cup. The prestigious tournament back in 2009 and 10.
also very well known for their youth system. And that's where they produce a lot of the players for the future. So a lot of history attached to Shillong Lajong as they look to make it another Meghalaya State League Championship. There will be a foul, too much pressure on that occasion. And of course, as for the Jade United as well, they have won the second division I league in 2012 13. have been runners up of this competition twice and the Shillong Premier League was won by them in 2013. And around the Jed United 36 years into their existence Shillong Lajong 40 years in this season so not much to choose between them but of course Shillong Lajong on the national stage have had a bit more experience but Rang the Jed United are in the ascendance in their last couple of seasons but they need to get the better of Shillong Lajong mentally they always come up short against them and that's how they've started this game as well and you can see and that has been the issue. Mentally, Rang the Jed United just aren't in the game so far. And perhaps that's got to do with the fact that they have come up short against Shillong Lajong many a time. Long ball doesn't work this time round. That's a bit of a slip. Falls towards Osterwell. He doesn't take it. Kassar can't get the pass he was looking for. He's been non-existent today. That's Kassar. Between Kassar and Buam, who's on the ball now, Rang the Jed need to get a stronghold of this game. That is surely not offside. It didn't look like it. It's a good run down the left hand side again. Kurba should get there before him. But what a battle between these two, Figo and Kurba. Fifteen minutes to play in this first half. We haven't seen too many chances after that goal. Figo plays it in again. Too awkward for Everbright on that occasion. But somebody needs to inspire around the Jed United. If it's going to be at half time, so be it. But for now, on the pitch, someone, anyone has to step up. Look at the organization from Shillong Lajong. Not allowing any forward passes to take place, forcing Rang the Jed to go long. That's a good pass though. Into Osterwell. 
And that could be a foul, but the ball was gotten first. That's a good challenge. Osterwell plays it through. This is the chance Rang the Jed were looking for. But again, back into shape so nicely, Ashilong Lejong. Possession one back. Buam trying to force it through. It's not going to go his way from that kind of an angle. Nang Jed have possession again. Ning Nong. To Osterwell, who has a lot of time to turn and crosses it into no one. Perhaps could have fed it through to the right for Kurba and then made himself available in the box. That should be a foul from Henry. Hardy rather. He's using his hands unnecessarily. The opponent was going nowhere, it has to be said. Here come Rang the Jad again. Onside this time against Let Lang. Looking for Kong's Dam. He plays it back. A bit of patience now from Rang the Jed is more like them and then Guam takes a shot from distance and almost scores a stunner and what a save from Rajat but after that the miss is a miserable one from Neng Nong could have taken a touch look at that he just had to take a touch and put it past the keeper and what a strike though from Kareti Klang Guam who is an absolute specialist from that sort of a distance he scored three or four goals from outside the box already this season. But that would have been the best one for sure. Osterwell feeds it through. Neng Nong puts it across the face of goal. But a bit too high for Let Lang. And this is vintage Rang the Jed United. Great ball from Osterwell. Neng Nong couldn't shoot from there. The idea was right though. <coughs> And I said that someone has to come to the party and who better than their skipper Knurti Klang Guam. Another foul in the midfield against Guam. They're going to try to stop him now. Look at that behind. On the cars and the vans. The fans flocking in attendance. Getting themselves a nice view of the action even in the heat. They're bringing out the umbrellas and everything else and that is another shot from distance that was a close one Rajat needs to be careful he's staying on his line is the keeper which is a good idea when you're getting barraged with shots like this one Alanki taking it on this time round what a strike that was from Guam though sensational stuff Oh, well, it looks like we're going to see a first change of the game. Ronald Kingdong makes way for the likes of Shano Taryang. With that round the jet, just have a bit of a breather. It's a hot day here at Kiangmang Nangba football turf. As you can see, the crowds all trying to catch a piece of the action as we get back underway after a quick rehydration. Rangajed looking more like themselves now. 
Can they get back into the game before half time though? Foul from Kasal. Another delivery inside, it's a teasing one. The first touch of the game for Shan Otaryang. And he will get a throw in for his troubles. Good defensive work down the left there from Save Me Taryang. Brilliant matchup between him and Kurba. And sometimes those are what you look for in a big game. Those small battles between a left back and a right back, or a left winger and a right back. But now it's direct, it's wing back versus wing back. As I said, that is how the game has progressed in this day and age. Ball played in. Should be easy for Rajat and it is. Shilong Lajong would love to take this lead into half time. Looks like they might. Six minutes to go. Sten does well with Kurba and then he clears. That's a good header. A towering header. Which stops Rang the Jed in their tracks. Oh, that is risky and unnecessary from Aibyang. Don't want to be dribbling in the box in this sort of a game. Nice cross field ball for Kurba who has a chance to cross in. It's a good delivery but well headed away. And with five minutes to go, Rang the Jed really want to get back into this one. And now Shillong Lajong's defense has been tested. And so far, they've had all the right answers. Not taking any chances there, Hardy Cliff. Same can be said about Rajat. A few challenges and it goes the way of Shillong Lajong. Here comes Shilong Lajong again looking for that second goal which will put them in the driver's seat. They already are but that will really make things tough for Rang the Jed United.
good strength very good strength down the right hand side worked nicely from ever bright but it just fizzles out and now rangdeja has have a chance for a counter there's kurba very involved today as always he will continue his run but that is good defending because there was no outlet to pass towards him this bomb as i said needs to be more involved that is better good cross field delivery between him and kasar i haven't seen enough today and that has been the issue for rang the jed it will be interesting to see what the managers change at half time shillong lajong don't need to change anything i feel rang the jed just have to change their approach they have a lot of talent it's just a question of bringing their a game and they haven't brought that as yet they haven't played with the intent that they usually do perhaps it's the occasion perhaps it's the opposition the good thing for them is they have a second leg and they also have a second half today but it's so important to get a result your way in your home leg the chase is on and i don't think it will be met by shano taryang into the final minute now of regulation time rang the jed try to make the in rolls down the left hand side good ball towards late liang he plays it inwards for tacho that could be a penalty no says the referee let's take another look at it it was a loose touch from ban sanba Yeah, and I think it was never going to be a pen because of the fact that he lost control of the ball. At the stroke of half time, can Rang the Jed get back into it? Three minutes. of stoppage time to play dwam plays it short they're very good in their set pieces can they work this one well they do but it's nicely cleared and now a big chance for a counter for shillong lajong if they have the legs for it though no they don't neither do they have the passing range for it at least that time rang the jet will come back again ostwell it's very good in these pockets but bansan bhal loses possession and again shillong lajong can move forward shano is brought down play on says ref and that will be a corner shano has had a decent game since coming on but ever bright has been probably the brightest of them all for shillong lajong earning another corner here Hardy Cliff Nongri the skipper will take it they're waiting for something Hardy with the delivery it's a good one and that's almost number 2 how have they not scored from that one Hardy has another chance to deliver it it's a good delivery but Sten does really well and will start off rang the jet for a counter of their own mansanba has a lot of space on the left 
Can he make the right decision of the pass? He does. And they continue now. Down the left, Late Liang loses a bit of footing and that will be that. And I don't think they'll have another chance in this first half. It's been a competitive game as we expected. But in the 50-50 balls and the intent and the positivity, it has been Shillong Lajong who have been the better of the two. And the scoreline suggests that. Yes, Rang Najed could have got a goal, but they also could have conceded another. So I think the scoreboard justifies the way the two teams have been playing. It will be Shillong Lajong taking the advantage into the second half. Unless they can double it now and really put themselves in prime position. Nothing comes of that attack though. Again a bit of dribbling at the back for maybe Young. That will be half time as referee Bulmi Fawa brings us to a close in this first half where Shillong Lajong have been the better of the two sides and they have scored the all important goal which takes them into half time away from home with a lead by one goal to nil versus the host for today, Rang the Jed United. Let's take a look at the highlights. Both the sides were pumped up. But it was Shillong Lajong which started a lot better. A few crosses into the box to Test 10 and the defence. Eventually resulting in a couple of corners and the first goal. Wonderfully taken by Henry Ferd Nong Neng. Then Kurba came back and almost got the equaliser. This was a brilliant chance for Figo Sindai, who missed that one.
Welcome back to the second half of this first semi-final, first leg between Rang the Jet United and Shillong Lajong. A few clouds around us and it's been far from a cloudy start for Shillong Lajong. Making the trip here to Jovai and getting a goal in the first half. Leaving the horse Rang the Jet with it all to do in this second half of the first leg. It's important for Rang the Jed to at least keep this one goal deficit and to not extend that because it will be tough moving to Shillong Lajong's home in Markirwat. They made it a fortress over there, just like Rang the Jed have made it a fortress here in the Kiang Nangba football turf. But today it hasn't been the best of appearances for them. Already one change taking place for Shillong Lajong before half time. Shano Tarian came on. Damien Sia is on for Rang the Jed. Here we go. 45 minutes more to play in this first leg of the first semi-final as Zhang the Jed United are trailing by a goal to nil versus the away team. Shillong Lajong, Rang the Jed need to get back at it. They need to show us why they dominated that Jawai zone and they need to do it within the next 45 minutes. But Shillong Lajong start off really well. Ball towards Shano on the right hand side. He has a lot of space, cuts it back. And that's a good block. But what a start from the whole from the away side again. And this could be number two. But just about cleared away by Knati Klangbom. How about that for a counter-attack? A serious one at that. And now Ban Sanba. For Rang the Jed. Has some space towards the right hand side. Plays it towards Kurba. As we take a look at the players on the field, just one sub each. For these sides, Osterwell now. Back to Kurba. Looks for a cross back towards Osterwell. But can't find him. And Shano will try to take it forward. What a way to start this second half. High intensity is the way to go for both these sides. And that's how they love to play their football. And that's how we love to watch it. Bit of a foul there from Hardy. Guam plays it backwards. And Rang the Jed need to get going. And now, like we've seen quite a few times in the Jowai group stage, the Sun playing a bit of hide and seek with us behind the clouds. Aibyang. Decent delivery there from Kongji. Will be kept in by Sia. His first involvement in this game. Looks for a reverse pass and Bansanba wasn't on the same wavelength as him. Good header from Buam, unchallenged, but Bansanba hasn't been the best with his first touch today. Again, a lot of space for Shilong Lajong. Rang the Jet keeping themselves open. Decent delivery there 
from Hardy. Mike, can he pick a pass? Everbright wasn't expecting that sort of a delivery, though. Nice touch from Kasar. That's more like it from him. Bansanba. Good delivery towards the right hand side and Rangda Jed will have a throw. All the spectators eagerly watching on, hoping that the home side can get back into the game. All along the car park and outside the arena as well. Here's Osterwell. Kurba. Nothing to it. Great shape defensively there from Shillong Lajong. Osterwell. Skips pass and will get a foul. And Hardy might just go into the book. It was a blatant push. And that's the first yellow card of the semi finals. Yeah, there was a push and a bit of a trip as well. The set piece specialist Rang the Jed United looking to conjure something up and get that equalizer that they've been looking for for some time now. Ball played in, decent delivery. And once again, played away. But it doesn't work out on that occasion for Rang Dajed. How much more can Shillong Lajong hold on too well. They've got to hold on or perhaps double their lead because Rang the Jed will keep coming. Shilong Lajong looking to make the inroads again doesn't really work. Rang the Jed now holding on themselves. Shano, good delivery back into the danger area, but Guam clears. Poking and prodding Ashilong Lajong. Every time they look to move into attack, they do it with a lot of intent. It's never just a half hearted attack. That's what makes them so dangerous. And usually it's the same with Rang the Jed, but they just haven't been themselves today. And you can give the credit to Shillong Lajong for that. His bomb dropping very deep into his own box. Sten needs to clear first time, and he does. Come round the jet again. A 
poor touch. Needs to be better there from Let Liang. Oh, that is it's just not working out for Rangdajed and I think a few changes need to be made need to be made. Bansanwa hasn't been at his best today, neither has Let Liang. Aquis is on the bench. So is Basuklung Bina. They need to come on for sure. And to make matters worse, worse Ai Biang goes into the book for a challenge. Taking down Chano. And that is Ibyang Mame Non Neng into the book. Hardy with the delivery, another teasing one. Sten misses it. And has that been cleared off the line? It hasn't. It's been given. Another goalkeeping mistake from Rangdajed United. And Shilong Lajong double their lead. Hardy plays it in. Let's take another look at it. Sten makes an absolute mess of it. And we'll have to take a look at the replay again to see if it crossed the line. But that'll be Hardy's goal. What is the keeper doing there? Let's take a slower look at it from this angle. Henry doubles the lead for Shilong Lajong and I think Rang Dajet have dug their own grave. What was Banchtan Sten doing there? And that has been a feat of the Joe I zone. Almost every game we've seen a goalkeeping mistake. And now when it matters the most in the semi-finals, Sten has done the same. And how disappointing is it for Rang the Jed? They've had a bad game and that has made matters even worse. How did they come back from this one? Poor ball from Aibyang, but it somehow manages to find Osterwell. Mansanba back to Osterwell. He needs to shoot now. Good block. Great block, in fact. Putting their bodies on the line, Ashilong Lajong. And they've got this game where they want it. They've got Rangdijel on the back foot and they're looking for number three now. But it's cleared by Kongji. Someone has stayed down. That is Henry Ford, the first goal scorer. Another foul against Rang the Jed. It's looking really bad for them now. How did they come back from this one? Not sure who it is who's down. Let's take another look at it. Mm, yeah, that was a rash tackle from Buam on Everbright, but it looks like he'll be fine.
Shillong Lajong know that they can get a third here and perhaps put this semi-final tie to bed if they do. But Damien Sia moves forward on a counter-attack for Rang Lichet, but it fizzles out. Bwam. Look how quick they are to pressurize the attackers of Rang Lichet. Shillong Lajong mean business today. And they're showing why they are probably the best side in Meghalaya. That's another shot taken, but easy pickings for Rajat. Still a better intent from Rangdajad. Time for a change for them. But Kim, thank you comes on and he will be replacing Light Lang who's not had the best of games this afternoon. Half an hour to play now for Rang the Jed. Shillong Lachong look very comfortable. Again, top class defending from Henry Ford Nong Ning. Not allowing any sort of sniff also for Rang the Jed. Poor cross from Osterwell is probably looking for a shot. Yeah, can't be shooting from there. You can understand the idea was probably wanting to dip it under the crossbar into that top right corner, but not easy from that sort of an angle. You have to avoid the block as well. Bit of a tussle there between Ever bright, who's always ever ready for a tussle. But it'll be another Shillong Lajong free kick. Hardy Cliff Nongbri. He's been absolutely on point with all his deliveries. Can he get another one in? Closer to Banstan Sen this time, who punches instead of collecting. Heart and mouth moment every time the ball will come towards the keeper now. Nothing working out for Rang the Jed United. Perhaps they need a bit of luck. They need a spark from one of their players. Here is Abad's Kim. No chance to cross for him. Has to move backwards and look for the cross field ball. Or rather, the minus ball and doesn't work. As it is raining a bit here. In Kyang Nangmang football turf. It's been a damp day if you're a Rang the Jed United supporter. Poor touch there. Never Bright can't get the pass he was looking for. He needed to just thread it in towards the inside of the post rather than the outside.
Everything going to long Jong's way. And here is Eobor to Hardy. Crunching check challenge from Ibiam who has to be careful. He is on the yellow card. Bansanba goes for a run and can't get the better of Hame Walang. Great pressure from him. Chilong Lajong are out playing round this head at the moment. And the coaches will be pleased, but they know the job isn't done yet. Now the jet can turn it on and come back into this. It's only about a goal for them to get their confidence back. Nice touch from Huam. Kasar, good delivery, but well read by Sambor. They're reading their moves beforehand, uh, Shilong. And the Red Dragons are packing fire this afternoon. That should be offset against Shanu. Even though he says no, it is definitely off. Good cross field ball. That's a better touch from Bansanba. He's still on, even though he hasn't had the best outing today. And that is far from the best ball you'll see either towards Osterwell. <laughs> Guam needs to inspire his side here, the captain. Whether it's a shot from distance or a good pass or even just uplifting the team, he needs to do it. Aibyang does well to play it back towards Sten, who has had a great tournament so far, but he will be thinking of that mistake. Needed to just stay on his line. The ball was coming towards him. Went out for it and missed it and made an absolute hash of that free kick. And this is the problem of dominating your zone for Rang the Jai. When you come up a side like, come up against a side like Shilong Lajong, then you could be caught out sometimes. That is a horrendous pass. In that side, that kind of a position, you've got to be more decisive. <laughs> Halfway through the second half, Rang the Jet don't look like they're going to score anytime soon. Yes, Kulbado, can he change that? Stands it up into the second post and the header is saved. It was going out in all probability, but Rajat Paul Lingdo taking no chances. Bansan but trying to head that towards goal, but there was no real pace on the ball from Kulba. Shano using a bit too much of his hands there. Great to see the crowd 
even where it was blistering heat and now it's raining they're still there and in fact more of them are coming towards the ground to watch this game but they have been disappointed so far good shot again from Guam who can really strike it from a distance catches the crossbar and Rajat Paul Lingdo has only been on all fours twice today and twice it has been because of a shot from distance from Guam Apologies for that, but such was the shot from Guam. All of us lost our bearings for a second. And if nothing else is working, he's got to keep shooting. If you've got your shot going today, if you've got your shooting boots on, then just keep trying. That's the only way they're creating a few chances today. Another mishap. Here is Hardy. Plays it through for... Figo, who was offside. Poor crossfield ball. Rang the Jets are not helping themselves. Not at all. This has been a very poor display from them. It's usually so much better. That's cool, ba. He goes for a cross himself. It's a decent delivery. Rajat is there before everyone else. Superb handling from the Shillong Lajong glovesman. Rang the Jed need to get at least one goal before this game ends. If they're just one goal behind going into Shillong Lajong's home ground, then it is still doable. But if they go there with this 2 0 deficit, then it'll be very tough. Shillong Lajong have scored in all games except the one versus seven United. Rang the Jet have scored in all games except for this one so far. And at this rate, Shillong Lajong don't need any more goals. They just have to shut up shop and absorb pressure and then break on the counter. As Arquis Swanyang will be coming on for Rang the Jet United. And he replaces. Osterwell Langshang. Decent game, but still not the best from his standards. Even the 50 50 balls not moving towards the Rang the Jet players. It's been that sort of a game for them. This semi final tie could be lost in this first leg itself. Unless they can pull off the spectacular in the second leg. It's not impossible. They are a great team. But so are Shillong Lajong. And to catch them out a couple of times in their home ground will be really tough. Too much pressure there from Balam Linti. Komji, the number 27. Here's Boam. Whose ball somehow finds Arquis. And then it's a backward movement from Rang the Jet. This is not like them. Having seen all their games, 
in the Jovai zone. Poor ball from Sia. Too easy at the moment for Shillong Lajong. The defense and keeper not being tested unless it's a shot from distance from Guam. Only 15 and a half minutes to play here. Rang the Jed staring down the barrel of defeat for the first time this season. And once again at the hands of the mighty Shillong Lajong. Hardy with the ball through. Good clearance from Aibyang. Another fall from Ai Byung. He's got to be careful. He's on a yellow, remember? Two changes now for Shillong Lajong. Wada Jade comes on versus Rang the Jade. And Baby Sunday is on. Another opportunity for Shillong Lajong to put something into the box. Decent delivery. Good header away. Comes back to Rang Jed. Baby Sunday. His first involvement is cleared. Aibyang under pressure. And gets a free kick. Here's Bomb. Long ball from him doesn't really work. He needs to play a little more advanced, I feel, since they're looking for a goal now. Playing a bit too deep for my liking. He's the only one who's threatening with the ball at his feet. They're not changing anything here, Rang the Jed. Need to try something different. Oh, that is a poor one from Ai Byung, and he has been booked before, remember. And he will be sent off. And it goes from bad to worse to even worse for Rang the Jed United. If you're not going to get there, don't go for it. Especially if you're on a yellow card. And he absolutely steals the opponent and... Ai Byung's semi-final first leg is over and he won't play for the part in the second leg as well. That is a poor challenge from him. And now they have to just sit back and hope that they don't concede a third here on the Jed because they are a man down and two goals down. And it's only going downhill from here. Oof, that is a bad one. That is a bad collision between Bibi Sunday and Ai Byung. Look at that. 
finding a spot no matter where it is on the hills on the cars on the rooftops along the fences and everywhere else and this will be the last game at Jowai at the Kyang Nangbang football turf and a massive respect to all the fans who've turned out day in day out in the numbers to watch not only Rang the Jed United but all the sides in the Jowai zone and of course to catch a glimpse of the mighty Shillong Lajong not often that you get to see them in action Shillong Lajong now will be representing Meghalaya in the I League what a feat for them to get back after so many years and they would love to do that as champions of the Meghalaya State League to just consolidate that they are the best indeed there'll be another foul I think it was Hame this time Yes, bomb. Yes, Kurba. Bomb. Poor touch from him. That will be high boot from Hardy, but play on says the ref. Arquis runs out of space, and it will be a Shillong Lajong throw as we move into the final 10 minutes of this first leg. The second semi-final of the day will be played in Tura in the PA Sangma Stadium. And that will be Claire Malwe YC versus Maulai SC. One of those two will join one of these two. And right now it looks like it could be Shillong Lajong moving into the grand finale. But... A few more minutes left today and 90, of course, in the second leg. Can Rang the Jay dig deep and do what champion sides do? But now they have to contain this counter-attack. Nice one-two. Onside is Figo. Looks for the ball back to Sankti, who could have shot. And it will be three. That will be an own goal. Sten makes a mess of it again. And you can hear... The disbelief in the stadium, and that should be the end of Rangajet United. What has happened there? Oh my word, you can't blame Sten for that. What kind of a clearance was that? I'm not sure who it was, but Sten can't get himself off the ground, and the fans move for the exit, and Rangajet. Look like they are moving for the exit because Shillong Lajong have come to their home stadium and have quite frankly embarrassed them. Scoring three goals within 83 minutes and it could have been more. And now I don't think there's any hope for Rang Dejed. What a performance from Shillong Lajong, of course, they're playing with a man extra now. And we will move to the MD SA playground in Maurkirwat for the second leg. As Sten almost makes another mistake. And that will be the place where Shillong Lajong will try to 
shut up shop and put an end to Rang the Jed United. And after the first leg, Shilong Lajong definitely have one leg in the final. All too familiar territory for them. And an all too familiar feeling for Rang the Jed. Coming up short against Shilong Lajong. Once again. Onside now. Can Rang the Jet get at least one back? No, is the answer from the Shillong Lajong defense. They just have lacked the fight today, Rang the Jet. And now it could be four. Baby Sunday. Sangti plays a good ball through and almost fed in Wadajed. And after so much hype, after so much dominance from Rang the Jed United throughout their league campaign, you can see how somber it is now. Kongji and the rest very disappointed. They know that it's going to be a far-fetched mountain to climb to reverse this three-goal deficit. Two substitutions will be made. Atlan Sun and Piche. Pinche will be coming on for Shillong Lajong. They can afford to make as many changes because they are a man down as well. A man up rather. Arlanki loses out and that will be a yellow card. Maybe for him. And here are the substitutions. Atlantan, Karma and Pinche Yatinkang. Stopping that counter attack blatantly. There are Lanky. Baby Sunday has been good since coming on, and a few more substitutions with Save Me Taryang and Hardy Cliff Nongbri, both of them having super games. They know the job is done so far and they have a chance to rest for the final three minutes plus additional time of this game. Good through ball for Figo to Baby Sunday. Looking for number four. Poor touch from him. Just ran out of space. minutes to play. Rang the Jed are defeated mentally, physically and on the scoreboard. A few of the fans sticking around, the rest moving towards the car park as they will sail into the sunset because Rang the Jed have been undone today. And we shudder to think how Shillong Lajong will play in their hometown. Hey. 
ball played in arquis was there it was just away from him so he wasn't able to steer that towards goal good ball in though as we move into the final minute now that could be offside no says the ref so it means the run was timed well but the pass wasn't here's wadajed decent delivery in it's almost four but then stops baby sunday who has been really good ever since coming on also got ibyang sent off with that run oh, and boam has gone down now looks like a bit of cramp for the skipper Four signs for Rang the Jet. Six minutes of added time. That's a lot, considering that there haven't been too many stoppages. But a bit of cramp will be attended to by the physio. There are the dignitaries watching on. They would have expected more of a fight from Rang the Jed, but unfortunately, they have come up short today. But they will still support them. Chilong Lajong looking for number four. Vital touch from Nongrem. Stan trying to quicken things up, but it won't really help. Long ball played by Arlanki to no avail. Arquis might get there though. He knows he has pressure and he puts that ball not into the path of any of his teammates. Nicely done there by Henry Ford. Kept in by Wadajed. That's definitely a foul. Well spotted by the ref. He's had a good game today. Here's Baby Sunday. Good defending. From our Lanky. Who does well to win that back. That'll be a foul on him this time. And along with the added time, even the new sub is Tremiki Lamurong. Where was he today? Perhaps he would have made a big difference starting. Wonder why he didn't though. As he replaces Boam this time. Lamarong trying to get involved and he does and that will be a foul Bansan Ba will continue I don't think there was much advantage in that though and the ref should have pulled it back Lamarong tries to shoot it is stopped 
He's fighting though. The number six. And that's all he can do coming on so late. Oops. We've got to be careful there. Palam Kongji. Two minutes to play. Onside for sure. And there is someone in the middle. Shilong La Chong looking for number four. That could be a penalty. Panchan Sten goes over it. There's a bit of rugby in the box, but no foul, says the ref. And now he pulls it back because a couple of them are probably injured. Oh, that is a tough one to call. Made the decision not to call for a pen. At this stage of the game, it might not matter though. But of course, there is a second leg to play. Lots of cramp for Rangdeje. They've been chasing shadows. They've been chasing a final spot. And they haven't caught either. Love to see the different positions that the fans get themselves into to watch the action. Looks like the other midfielder, Kasar. Who won't be able to continue. Great to see them still in attendance and watching on. Not to see, not great to see Kasar moving off like this. Might not have Guam and Kasar and Aibang in the second leg and Kongji and the rest are very disappointed as you can see sad sight all around if you are around the Jed supporter or fan or player or coach rather nice touch there Arquis Oi. that would have been a yellow card for sure from for Atlan Sun and brilliantly taken there by Rajat Paul Lingdo who's had a superb game he has done all the basics right and sometimes in the Jovai zone we've not seen that from keepers if you get the basics right then half the job is done and the saves and everything else will come Eight, seven and a half minutes now. Almost time for the final whistle. And what a dominant display from Shillong Lajong. As Rang the Jade United will finish their first game without scoring. Unless they get something here. Bansan Ba had to pass it first time. Decided not to. And the chance could be gone. As the rain beats down on us here. Kyang Nang Ba football turf. And nothing works. And that should be that for Rang the Jade United. And that will be full time. And that will be a 3 nil lead for Shillong La Jong after the first leg of the semi finals. As they have defeated Rang the Jed United. And how? A poor performance from Rang the Jed. But Shillong La Jong was superb. And now they have one foot in the final.
And let's round the jade pull off something spectacular. And that is how it ends here in the Meghalaya State League. Shilong Lajong defeating Rang the Jed United by three goals to nil. And as we take a look at the highlights, it was red versus blue, but it was a blue day for the Rang the Jed side. They just started off poorly under the blue sky, but the red hot form of Shilong Lajong just got to them and they couldn't feel the heat. And that was the first goal from Henry Ford Nongneng. Kurba came close, so did Figo. Buam came the closest as he struck the crossbar twice from distance for Rang the Jed. This was a good attempt as well, but the final pass just didn't find a teammate there for Rang the Jed. At half time, Shilong Lajong led by a goal to nil. But this is where it all turned. Banch Sans then came to clear. He missed it. And then the ball crossed the line. And that was the right call from the ref. That goal went to Henry Ford. Rang the Jet kept trying, but not too much. They didn't create too many chances. Bwam again from distance with a fantastic strike. It was always dipping. But it looks like the keeper would have saved it. Aibyang got his second yellow. And then Arquis with a poor clearance, which found the back of the net. And Sten couldn't make that save and readjust. And Shilong Lajong tried for number four, but they couldn't get it. And eventually, they come to Rang the Jed United's home and defeat them by three goals to nil. And that will be the deficit for Rang the Jed to try and pull off the spectacular in the second leg as they make their way to Markirwat against Shilong Lajong. So that is all from the semi-final leg one here in Jowai as Shilong Lajong convincingly beat Rang the Jed United by three goals to nil and take that lead into the second leg where we will see you on the 13th for more action in the semi-finals. That is all from myself, Liam Bain. Thank you for watching and goodbye.